it just, I don't know, it doesn't put out the heat. I have a little uh, heat warmer. If you mm -hmm. are using any of those heat sources, girls, you know that you just have to make sure it's dusted off. And they were just saying about the chimney sweep because some of that gathers in there and it can catch fire. We don't want that. We don't want any emergencies. Now, they actually do have some wintry weather down in the southern part of Texas, also Louisiana. They had a hard freeze this morning. Our area also under hard freeze, but we don't have the precip to go with it. Late last night, however, some of us did have have some wintry weather. We will be nice and dry the next 24, 48, 72 hours, which is great. We have a dry weekend ahead, something that we haven't had in quite some time. So if you have plans for today, you don't have to worry about any snow flurries, any hail. Hail came with those storms yesterday. That's not a form of winter weather, but it's ice. Hey, we do have some clouds that we're waking up to, especially across deep east Texas, but those clouds will be even be on the way out of here within the next few hours. Temperatures right now. All right. How are we feeling outside? I'm sure it, those of you waking up or getting ready to head out the door, you feel it. It's just hard to warm up when it gets this cold. Temperatures currently in the mid 20s across our area. Yeah, it's just freezing outside, below freezing. Actually, San Augustine's at 31, and then we just get colder from there. Center's at 30. We have a lot of mid 20s out there. Athens, Tyler, here, uh, Canton, Emory, Mineola, Gilmer, all sitting at 25, 26 degrees. As we go a little bit wider here, there's some areas across Texas that's in the teens. So Wichita Falls, 13 degrees right now. This is not the wind chill. This is the actual temperature. 13 degrees, Wichita Falls, Amarillo at 14, Lubbock at 19 degrees, Tulsa, 11 degrees right now. Don't go to Oklahoma. Current wind speeds. We have winds coming down from the northeast gently around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Even those gentle winds are making those wind chills drop down to the teens. So the wind chill is how it feels on your skin. It feels like it's in the teens here in Tyler, Jacksonville, Palestine, Athens. Actually got colder now that we have those clearing skies. All that air, any air that we have, uh, goes back up into the atmosphere, and that's when temperatures really take a plummet under those clear skies. So high temperatures for today, lower 40s were in northern areas, central areas, low to mid 40s, and then deep east Texas will be in the mid 40s generally. Plenty of sunshine to pair with that. Future skycast here, hey, this is boring. We have quiet conditions going into tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, and then uh, going into tomorrow night as well. So you don't see a drop of rain on that future skycast there, which is great. Running the rows is tomorrow. You need those layers. The sun will be out around 8 a.m. Uh, first race begins around 6 a.m., I believe. 8 a.m., the sun comes out, but you're not warming up. We're in the mid-20s at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. By 10 a.m., you're just above freezing at 35. So if you're running the rows, I know you're expecting to sweat, but you really want to make sure you wear those layers. It's very important. Make sure you pay attention to your body because when it's cold, outside and you're sweating, your body can kind of get off balance there. Seven day forecast here brought to you by Baylor Scott and White. 46 for today. This weekend we do have some improvements on the way. Saturday will be in the lower 50s, still chilly. Sunday, however, we will be in the lower 60s. That's paired with plentiful sunshine for this weekend. Monday, we do have that rain making a return, likely for the afternoon into the evening. It looks like it wants to finish off by Tuesday morning, but I kept that sprinkled chance just for Tuesday, the start of it. We have a couple clouds left over, and that goes for Wednesday, too. And then temperatures really just seasonally cool for the rest of the week. Sunday looks to be the best day.